Hi folks, today we are going to learn how to assemble a Freedom Wing. Now for those of you who may not know, a Freedom Wing is a device we created with Gravy and Able Gamers. It lets you take the input of a standard power chair joystick, uh, one that has a 9-pin interface, and plug it directly into a maker-style microcontroller like these feathers. What that allows you to do is control anything from an Xbox or your computer that needs a mouse input to your phone using your Bluetooth interface. All that's available by swapping out different feathers and writing a little bit of Python code. Now regardless of what feather you're going to put on top, assembling the Freedom Wing is pretty straightforward. It's about 12 components, it's all through hole soldering, and it's really easy. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need is a Freedom Wing PCB board. Chances are you'll find a link near this video to request one from AT Makers. But they're open source and the design files are available if you'd like to get your own printed at Oshpark, PCBWay, or other PCB houses. We'll be assembling Revision D, which is the first to have diodes to support battery usage and a reset switch. Yours might look a little different, but make sure it's Revision D or higher. You'll need a male D sub 9 jack with through hole pins. You can get these at DigiKey or Mauser, and the links and part numbers are in the guide. Six resistors will create three voltage dividers. You'll need three 47 kilo ohm and three 100 kilo ohm resistors. Two shock key diodes allow the board to draw power from either the USB or battery line of the feather, whichever is higher. To connect the feather, our board will need two female headers with 12 and 16 pins matching the feather standard. Adafruit and DigiKey sell sets of these, or you can cut longer headers down. Finally, you'll need a 12 volt regulator from Pololu. This steps up the USB or battery voltage to the 12 volts the joystick needs. You can find this on pololu.com or DigiKey for under $4. Make sure to get item 2117 as there are many variants. Along with standard soldering equipment, you'll need a solderless breadboard like this one. It'll help hold components in place while we add headers. First, we'll put on the straight 3-pin header that comes with the regulator. Using the 90-degree header to rest it on makes soldering it a bit easier. Next, we solder the regulator to the PCB board. Because this regulator only has pins on one side, We'll want to solder on just one pin and then level it. Heat up the pin again and adjust the regulator until it's parallel. Now go back and solder the other two pins. Because these header pins are long, we'll cut them off. However, that means we should really reflow the solder joints after we cut them, as you see here. Now it's time for the two shot key diodes. Insert them, making sure that the line on the diode lines up with the markings on the board. Flip the board and solder them in place. Flip the leads off using flush cut pliers. The reset button is completely optional, but can be helpful when you're placing the Freedom Wing on top of your feather. Place it in the holes provided and solder down the other side. No need to cut these short leads. The three 47K resistors are next. Place them in the positions marked R2, R4, and R6. The board is clearly marked. Flip the board, solder, and clip the leads. Repeat the process for the 100K resistors, placing them in R1, R3, and R5. Again, solder and clip the leads. Placing the female feather headers requires the solderless breadboard. Place male headers on the breadboard spaced correctly for feathers. Put the female headers in pin side up and then place the Freedom Wing board on top with the components facing down. Solder one pin on each side and then check to be sure the headers are in straight. Crooked headers are much easier to fix with just one pin soldered in. These are fine, so we can continue. Now go on to solder all the pins on the headers. I like to do one side and then rotate the board so I'm not soldering across the completed work. Continue down the other side, being careful not to miss any pins. You'll notice it's not hard to do, as I missed one right there. Before you move on, check your work. This is a great time to fix a problem that will be very hard to find once the device is in use. When the pins are all done, you can check them from the side and see they have nice sloping sides and every pin is connected well. If not, resolder them now. Finally, it's time to put on the D sub 9 connector so the joystick can connect. The jack has many fragile pins, so make sure they're all straight and insert them gently into the PCB board. 
Like before, we'll want to solder on one pin and make sure it's seated flush to the board. Then we can proceed to the remaining pins. Don't forget to solder in the mechanical connections. That completes the Freedom Wing assembly, but we still need to prepare our feather to complete the working system. While a few feathers come with headers installed, most come with them separate but included. Like the female headers earlier, we'll use a solderless breadboard to hold them in place and solder in all the pins. We'll skip through this part as there are lots of videos on Adafruit's YouTube channel showing how to do this. That's it, just pop the two parts together and you're ready to go. Once you've assembled your wing and put your controller on it, you're probably going to need a box. Uh, we've got a number of cases. Uh, this one adds five switches that you can plug in to plug AT switches into and has a USB port. We have a number of these. That some are larger, some are smaller. Uh, you can come up with your own, but a 3D printing case is probably a good idea. Now, realistically, there is one more part uh, to this job, which is to program your uh, controller, your feather, uh, with your wing on it. But that's going to be in a different video. Uh, th that depends very much on what you want to do with it. If you're making it an Xbox controller or a Bluetooth controller for your phone, all of those are going to have different uh, software that's needed. All of it will be open source and we will have separate videos for that. I hope you enjoyed making your Freedom Wing and I'd love to see what you're doing with it. Already we've got people using Xboxes and flying drones and using it as a mouse. Uh, if you'd like to share your idea, please bring it to the Facebook group, uh, the AT Makers. Facebook group, or just join us on atmakers.org. As always, good luck and have fun.